Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica Data Quality Developer Tutorial. In today's session, we will see how to create profile. So let's start today's session. So we have to make sure all the respective services are up and running using the administrator for the IDQ. Then the open the IDQ developer and we in the last session we have created one project by using existing mapping but today we are going to start doing from the scratch we are not going to use any already developed component so what we are going to do we will create one physical data object using either database or using the flat file so we have the various alternatives to create the physical data object so what are the ways or what are the components we can by which we can create the data physical data object we will see shortly so before going to create any physical data object let's have a look one of the flat file so we are going to create a physical database uh, data object using flat file and that nothing but the csv file so let's edit it so it is this very simple flat file having around 11 records so it is having the custody name address city state postcode phone and status column and the corresponding values so what we are going to do in today's session we will create a profile and we will run this sample profile and see a uh, little details about or the analysis about the profiling so first thing we are going to create a data a physical data object using this csv file so in order to create physical database object right select the physical database object right click new and select the physical data object it will give us various ways from which we can create the physical data object like all the pdos so we can create pdo using complex file data object using data shift data object facebook data object flat file data object or green plum data object HBase also we can use, LinkedIn we can use, non-relational data, relational data that is database also can be used, we can use the SAP or Salesforce also, even the sequence data objects can be used, Teradata also can be used to create a physical data object in IDQ, Twitter, Twitter streaming also can be used or we can use the WSDL that is nothing but the web service component. Web content capo catalyst data objects can be also used that is the custom thing so in today's session we will use the flat file so select the flat file data object and click on the next button here as we are going to use the existing flat file we will select the radio button create from from an existing flat file if you're if you don't have the source system or if you want to still you, you want to create the physical data object then select the create as a empty but for now I am going to select one file so here you have to use the browse button and select the the file one which we just saw and click open you can give any name here by default the name got selected from the CSV file but I will keep as it is click on the you, you can observe here the location is project test project 2 you can select the other project also as per your need click on the next button the next button will uh, give us one new wizard which will show you show us what kind of delimiter is used if you observe the flat file it is delimited using the comma so let me show you again so the records are separated by using comma so th the same thing we are going to use we are going to use the delimit delimiter that is the comma separate if it is a tab separated then you can use the fixed width so even uh, you can see the details if it is if you choose the fixed width because there is no tab separator you will see the data in the single record or single column but if you choose the delimiter records are separated as per the delimiter you can maximum uh, you can uh, if you want to see more number of records in the preview you can change this values also click on the next here the couple of properties you will see delimiter what kind of delimiter you're using 
as we have uh, uh, the tool itself determined uh, the, it was a comma but you can have the feasibility to choose any other delimiter also even if you file separate content pipe separator then you can uh, use the pipe separator also like and you can provide the something like this pipe parameter so something like that you can do text qualify no quotes if you are using quotes or single quote to identify the a string then you can define that text qualifier also so accordingly the text will be means the quotes will be removed while populating the data if you observe the data file contain the column names if you see the column first line is the column name and then the data so if you want to remove or if you want to import the data accept first line and treat the first line as a, a column name then you have to select this option import column names from the first line so it will import the column name from the first line if you want to import only a record from the 1000 line you can define that also here we have the feasibility to import the data from the particular line as well row delimiter that is new line if the new line is uh, you can create all the record in the single line and separate by some special character to define the new line that is also possible escape character you can define treat consecutive delimiter as a one retain escape character in the data so if you want to retain the escape character in the data also you can define that click on the next so here is a chance to change the uh, a data type and the precision suppose for example cost study i will change the precision to suppose 10 okay so you have that feasibility even if you want to change the data type you can change for example for the state uh, uh, postal code if you want to make it as a, a string or any other you can make it but i will keep it as it is uh, you will see the preview in the bottom uh, section now i will click on the finish button So this will create one physical data object and the name of physical data object or the PDO is cast. So in the preview you will see the general section and the column section. What are the columns are available? You can see here. So we have the city, state or you can change these names also. Now the next thing is if you go to the read section you can see the mapping like what is the input and what is the output okay cast and output cast is the input and this is the output of this means if the this video is used you can have the feasibility to restrict the number of columns which will be uh, I provided as a output so let's go one by one so select the particular video then either you can select from this tab or if you select this tab you have the at the left corner in the outline also you can select so i will select on the output you find the general what are the ports you have means what are the columns you have and then you have the runtime runtime is very interesting part where you will see all the various properties it has the properties such as input type source type so as we chose it is a f input type is a file so it is values file source type is direct then it has the file section connection command section and uh, all the corresponding values for those the source file name one which we use is cust.csv which is what which we chose the source file directories this is the directory if you want to customize you can customize that also concurrent read partitioning optimize throughput this is by default value selected by the IDQ developer tool then connection type is none if you want to use any particular connection type you can use that truncate string null if you want to truncate the string which is having the null value you can have the option and we have the line sequence buffer length 1024 that is another property now so this is the input file details the cursed uh, file and the uh, directory name and the file name is 
provided here for the output means this is the input if you want to write the output on particular location you have to select this tab right or you can go to the left hand corner from the outline and select the right input go to the runtime and here you have to select couple of properties append if exists so the, that means if the record is already present and you are still running the uh, profiling then the records will be appended create directive does not exist so if you choose this if direct is not present it will create a uh, header option so if you want to choose any particular header so you have the drop down here so you can select the no header means data just will be placed in the output file or output field names what are the input field name will be treated as output field name or the header or other header options then we have the footer command if you want to give the footer command header command output type again it will be the file when you choose any particular other output type then you have to select the corresponding properties then you have, if you want to execute particular command you can execute also output file directory so you have to provide the directory name so i will put the file in the same directory where the input file is present but i what i'll do i'll just update the output file name with appending out as a, a character or the word merge type no merge merge file directory if you want to specify merge file directory you can specify but i will keep as it is for now merge file name will be automatically populated with cust one dot out connection type if you want to use any generic connection you can use there and you have to save this so how to save this at the left side you can see the save button click on the save so this will save the properties for the data physical database object so we have the parameter section where we can define the various parameter which will be used for this physical database object in the advanced section you have the what are the parameters you have chosen during the creation of the data object that will be available in future if you want to share the delimiter you have the feasibility to do that whatever uh, we chose during the creation that will be automatically populated here the date time format will be like this thousand if you want to change any date time parameter you have you can uh, you can select here at the bottom side we have the properties section as per if you are left hand side selection changes the property also changes we have the data viewer to see the data uh, at particular point of time then if any tag associated with this physical data object that will be uh, displayed here tags will be created by the uh, analyst or by the developer also object dependency if it, there is dependency that will be display, displayed here alert messages will be here like what if you are doing some processing like creation or deletion kind of operation in the physical data object that will be displayed here in this view and then the notification which will give us some idea like for the troubleshooting now the next thing is we have created the physical data object let's create a profile in order to create a profile you have to select the physical pdo right click on the pdo and you will find various options new open with synchronize copy as a link copy etc uh, that those are the normal uh, properties and you will see the validate deploy find dependency and profile so click on the profile so we will get one uh, wizard and it has the various option we have the enterprise discovery profile multiple profiles and profile yes we can create a multiple profiles also at the same time or we can create a single profile enterprise discovery profile it is little more advanced part of the profiling where the various uh, complex entity will be involved in today's demo we will create one sample profile because we are going to create a single profile using the single video click on the next after selecting profile but a uh, profile label it will go it will take us on the next uh, wizard where we have to give the name to the profile uh, the profile underscore course I will keep the name at the same then the description I will provide basic profile for 
customer data you can give any other description also data object so those will be automatically selected because we are right click on this cust that is why it is selected cust if you want to change you can change it apart from that there is one more interesting property on this wizard is nothing but a run profile on finish so as soon as we create profile at the same time the profile will be run and the result will be displayed so we'll select that and click next button there are various types of profiling available column profiling primary key primary key profiling functional dependency profiling and some other properties data domain discovery for normally what are the uh, idq analysts do with the profiling they do the column profiling but as a developer we have the opportunity to do the profiling using the primary key as well as functional dependency so let's see uh, what are the details about the column profiling we have the three major components column selection filter and sampling option you can choose the particular column for the profiling for the today's demo we will choose um, all the columns for the profiling if you want to do the filtering you, you have the option you can add some filter condition also but for now we will select uh, what are the default values then we have the sampling option there are four types of uh, we uh, types of sampling we can use we can select all the rows we can select only first row we can select random sample or we can select the random sample at all. by for now i will select all the rows there is one option exclude a data type interface for the columns with an approval data type so it will exclude those columns we are not going to do the primary profiling we will do the column profiling then we have the drill down option drill down option is the option where we can see the data at the runtime what are the data we are profiling that can be visualized at the runtime so you have the option to select the particular columns so for now all the columns are selected for example if i do not select status uh, the status will not be selected in the preview at the drill down there are two types of option one is on live data and a second is on stage data so if you remember the data is present in the flat file it is not in the idq system or idq database but if you choose the on stage data so that what are the data which is present in the flat file currently that will be copied into the idq database on live means it will refer the data in the from the flat file it will not copy the data in the idq database each has their advantages and disadvantages on live data give uh, we have to have the connection to the flat file always and it is the direct dependence on that uh, data source however it will not use the more memory because we are not going to copy that data if you choose the on stage data then it will impact your performance of profiling because it is going to copy the data from the source into the stage subsequent run will be the faster but while creation or the first time will be a more resourceful or performance hit issue will be there so i would recommend if you are using um, more number of data for the profiling use the online data instead of stage data show result only for the column rule selected in the current run if you want to select you can select that or if you don't want uh, if you don't want to select you can you unselect it unselecting the flag will make the definition out of sync with the result without rerunning the profile rerun the profile to get the latest result so that means we have to rerun the result if the column selection has changed if you want to change any run setting you have the option native or the high validation environment so these are the things you have to configure and click on the finish so it will so go and select that uh, physical file that is uh, flat file and do the profile and it will display the profile because currently once the profile is created and it is running the profile at the left hand side you can see inside the test project 2 there was not earlier profile section but once we create one single profile the profile section got profile section got created and inside that our profile is present the profile name is 
profile underscore cust. So this profile is based on the cust table and uh, cust PDO and cust PDO depends on the CSV file. In the CSV file we have seen that it's 11 record present and which have the columns such as cust ID, name, address, city, state, zip code and other corresponding properties. So based on those values it is doing the profiling and the profiling uh, result will be displayed here shortly. Here is the result of the profiling. So you can see the columns such as cust ID, name, address, city, state and postcode phone status can be displayed here. So we have the overview section, we have the definition section where the definition what we have chosen for the profiling that will be displayed for we, now we have chosen the column profiling result will be displayed here what are the columns uh, with values for example the columns such as custody name address city state uh, postcode phone status will be displayed how many unique values found for the custody 11 because we have the 11 records how what is the percentage 100 percent unique found if it is any duplicacy then the percentage might be reduced any null values found there is no null value so no null percentage what is the data type data type is integer with the precision 4 all the and it is 100 because all the records have the same precision uh, same percentage documented data type that is this uh, decimal 10 so do you remember when we select when we start try to create a profile we select a data type as a decimal 10 what are the integer uh, 4 it is coming that is nothing but the actual value from the uh, that c dot csv file it is having all the records are having or the maximum number of uh, maximum value of the records having the four digits or the precision 4 and it is of types integer but all the documentation because it is csv file it is taken as a decimal similarly we have the other properties also max value minimum value so max value is 101 1011 and minimum value is 1001 and it is created uh, it is the date so similarly we have the other columns also got profile like name how many no names are there Let's select a few of the other columns such as zip postcode. So if you remember, if you see the postcode, so postcode has a, a unique value as a three. Unique percentage 27.27. .27. That means that number, even there are 11 records, you, only three are the unique values. And one record has a null uh, postcode. So percentage of the null is 9%. If it is a percentage higher, that will be uh, another point to discuss with the business. Again, the data type is integer with the precision 7 and the documented type is its decimal 10 because that is what it is found during the profiling. Then max value and the min value with the date. Let's consider the state. So you can see there are two types of uh, two state values present. At the left side, if you choose particular column, the corresponding values will be displayed in the right hand side. If you see the values for the state as CA and the MA, that is California and Massachusetts, frequency occurred for CA is 7, frequency occurred for the MA is 4, that means 7 records with the CA and 4 records with MA, that means total is 11 record, and the percentage is also mentioned here. Along with that, we have the properties such as what is the um, Ch chart it is showing the in the chart format so the percentage will be displayed in the chart format so this is getting displayed only when you have the uh, select the values as a in the detail section if you select pattern what is the pattern of the record so you are getting the b and hyphen hyphen this kind of pattern you are able to see so th that means th uh, the two type of character means there are two character patterns found and it is frequency is 100 percent means all the uh, column values have the two character that means the percentage is 100 percent if you want to see the statics you have the statics is also if you, if you want to see the data types what type of data we have the fixed length string 2 and the string 2 so these are the characters or data types found so this is the basic analysis uh, we are doing with the data 
in upcoming session we will see a little detail about the profiling i hope this uh, tutorial will help you to understand how to create the profile and how to run the profile and do the basic analysis thank you for watching my video do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update about the informatica data quality thank you and have a nice time